mentioned now, we'll move on to CFX and, and particularly the turbo tools. So turbo grid and blade editor have been improved both to um, auto split suction and pressure side surfaces and to improve the flexibility with blends. Previous release, it was you, the possibility was introduced so that as you've got your main passage to have a return channel here, which you can see has got a small channel, so you've got very little flow here. Um, there's now a new tutorial which shows you how to set this up and, and use it. For the operating maps, there's been some improvement of flexibility. So some more automation with pre in the setup, some ability to um, continue if you make a change and also improved um, surface plotting. Another generic feature though that's come into CFX is having more control over the interrupts. Um, if you've got multiple conditions um, that you want the solver can stop the solver, um, you can now enforce that all of them have to be valid before it stops. So you might have residuals, um, you might have a, a balance condition, and you might also have a monitor change condition. So now it will only stop when all of them are satisfied if you choose this option. For um, the boiling model in, in CFX, this is the RPI boiling model. Um, there's been a couple of major enhancements. One is to include thermal radiation. So that as the surface gets hotter, you actually got the thermal radiation effects there. And it's been um, reconfigured to make it easier to customize um, and easier to put in your own correlations, et cetera. So um, for those using that, you're gonna find that a significant improvement. Quick mention of Ensight. Remember, you've all got access to Ensight. I don't know how many people are using it, but I just wanted to remind you in this presentation that there's a lot going on with Ensight. Um, there's been a lot of cleanup and making it fit more in the ANSYS style, but a key feature, I think, is that now HDF5 um, files and that can be read properly into Fluent. So it's no longer a beta feature. Sorry, it can be read into uh, Ensight, so you can now interact fully with your, your Fluent files in, in their native format. You don't have to go through an export. And last but not least, um, once you install Ensight as part of your system now, the Ensight help is available in the usual help location for ANSYS. So, that is um, a quick summary of the highlights of this release. There's actually a lot there. It's, it's a significant release. Um, I would encourage everybody to update. As you know, um, not only are there release features, but a number of defects and usability improvements are also made that we haven't covered here. So please go ahead and do it. If you wanna know any more about these features or any issues with installation, please contact us at LEAP and we'll uh, do our best to assist you. Thank you and bye.